Although COVID-19 is dominating the headlines, we understand the need to take a break sometimes from the news about the virus. So today we're bringing you a report on native Detroiter Shannon Kaysen. His podcast, Homemade Stories, is popular all over the country. And Shannon calls his stories brutally honest and he encourages people to step out of their comfort zones in the quest to tell better stories. One Detroit's Bill Kubota caught up with Shannon at a podcast festival last summer. Went to a local computer store, got me a mic, and started doing podcasts. My name is Shannon Kaysen, and I'm a storyteller. You ready to hear some stories from some people? When Shannon Kaysen started recording his Homemade Stories podcast, he was on the front end of the boom. You got a podcast? No, you I saw somebody over here. Who else got a podcast? Anybody else? It's a podcast festival in downtown Detroit. This is its second year. Um, it's what you're doing right now, which is coming together to uh, listen to a whole bunch of really, really good audio stories. My words As storytellers stories. practice their art, for so many podcasts have become their delivery system. I was born in Sinai Hospital, right? This night, Glenn and, um, Washington, host of the public radio Snap Judgment program and podcast, is Kaysen's featured yep. guest. It's wonderful, really, to see so many elements of Detroit storytelling come together. This is really one of the places where I think that storytelling, this whole new sort of um, art form is being created. And Shannon Kaysen, he's, he's one of the atlases holding things together. Welcome to Homemade Stories 109. I've been telling people for a long time, I'm slow. I'm slow in all things. The way I talk, the way I walk, I have long strides. I'm 6'3", so it seems like I'm walking fast, but it's a steady gait. You like that word, gait? The stories that I tell are from my life, everyday life, and then some are more dramatic. The casino was a 10 minute drive, Motor City Casino. This is in Detroit. The dealer deals the cars. I lose. And then I chase till I lose the whole $50,000. But then I had no creative aspirations at all. I just wanted to be a good operations manager at a plumbing wholesale warehouse in Flint then in Chicago with a decent salary. Then I got laid off. Then I went broke. Then my wife left me with my three-month-old baby daughter. And I went to a bar to learn the old-fashioned art of becoming a drunk. And it happened to be a storytelling event. That's the whole thing about Shannon. Shannon just says, forget all that noise. I'm going to tell you what really happened. You can listen if you want. You can believe if you want. But I don't care. I'm just going to tell you what happened to me. And I was just a 12-year-old kid growing up. I got arrested going to my Boy Scout meeting. And I had a dollar, so I stopped at the corner store to get some better made red hot chips and a Fago peach, my favorite. But when you in that situation and when you with friends, we all looked at it as kind of funny. And I hate it when people talk bad about my neighborhood, but there was a drug raid going down at the corner store. One of the officers, huge guy, dressed like a Ninja Turtle, he asked me what you was doing out there. Like we had jokes about it. We would laugh about it at school the next day, you know? Like, man, you look so scared. And I know he saw my fear. I told him I was just going to my Boy Scout meeting and he smacked me. I cried laughing after that happened. It's how you cope, traumatic experiences, things happen, and in your eyes, it's funny, but your brain is just trying to make you cope. Yeah, I was actually headed to Boy Scouts, and he smacked me again. So I'm not dumb. The next time, I just told him what he wanted to hear. Uh, sir, I was out there, and I was, I was on the corner, and I was selling drugs. Then he didn't smack me anymore. Get ready. Yeah, we at WDET Studios. And Naila's gonna be coming in, and she's the one who, yeah. Okay, great. I'll be what's up, what's up, what's up? I use this studio for a new project I'm working on called In Good Company. Uh, In Good Company, I'm telling 
entrepreneurs business stories in Detroit. I got my first taste of entrepreneurship hmm. in, in elementary school. I'm just getting that rich Detroit story. I've been doing this 12 years. I just got on payroll uh, about a year ago. So the first 11 years of this company, I was working for free. I wasn't taking home a check, a check at all. And I was doing it gladly because it was you a labor of love. From the start, yeah. you said that to yourself. I didn't you know it was going to take that I know at this point, yeah. I've been doing podcasting for close to 10 yeah. years no, no, now. No, no. We got something. <laughs> See, I'm 44 now, but all those experiences I had in that, all that struggle, all that time, I just consider it raw materials for stories now. <laughs> My car went out today. I find a story about that, you know. My 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 wife left me and 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 took the kid and and I lost all the money at the casino. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs>